this congregation is used to practicing the Christian virtues of hope and courage. But the events of the past week have pushed them to their limit. A dozen are in detention, the rest afraid to speak. Worst of all, the new church, which took them 12 years to build, has been destroyed. Sanjang Church, only a week ago. Capacity, 3,000 believers, fit for a growing congregation. And this is all that's left. The government said the church broke planning rules. For several weeks, the congregation mounted a vigil to protect it. But this woman told me police sealed off the area last week and bulldozers moved in. I felt very miserable. I have spent days and nights with the others trying to protect the church. And when I saw it had been torn down, I was really sad. I wept. So we're just going to try and get through to the church. There's a police checkpoint up here. Oh, so they're saying it's dangerous up ahead, which is why we can't go up there. Oh. Oh. They're not going to let anyone through. They're clearly extremely concerned about um, letting the congregation up to the church and having an outpouring of anger and distress that they can't control. Another congregation, another government threat. Take your cross off the roof or your church will be destroyed. After much soul searching, they've given in. I tell the others we'll put the cross back up again in a couple of months. I need to give them some encouragement. We believe in Jesus and our religion is free. The government should not suppress us. The Chinese constitution does promise freedom of religion and the Wunzhou government acknowledges that Christians are often pillars of the community. But Beijing is wary of a faith which has greater appeal here than its own ideology. This city of churches is being brought to heel. Carrie Gracie, BBC News, Wunzhou.